Good morning to you, SK. Beautiful morning out here in Durban this morning, and it is so nice to be broadcasting from Africa's tourism in Durban. It is open. South Africa is open. It's ready for business. And if we ever felt that atmosphere more, I can tell you something. It is definitely something we're feeling here. But it's not only South Africa that's open for business. It's Africa that is open. This is the 44th edition of the uh, tourism in Durban, the Africa tourism or travel in Daba as you can see behind me Africa's travel in Daba and this is just a very exciting moment for the continent because it's the first time since covid that it is at this scale obviously last year there was a sort of you know it happened but on a much more muted scale but this year it is back and it is glorious i can tell you that much and everybody feeling it so it's really nice come with me as i take you into this uh, this wonderful uh, setup that they got going here i mean they've got so many exhibitors that are here that are representing about 21 different countries and that is something that i think we really need to talk about and i know that the minister of tourism patricia de lille spoke about that yesterday during her opening address is that partnerships are very very important in order to get tourism ready and going because let me tell you something when you come this far to the african continent you want to enjoy it in all of its splendor so as much as you may want to come to south africa there are so many other offerings that are available to us as we travel here to the continent so this is where everybody is and as soon as you come in here well of course you're greeted by security guards and hopefully they'll just let us in morning 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 and this is it that's that little welcome with a south african flag that has been there for as long as i know that i've been doing broadcasts from the tourism in daba but once you get inside there, which we will take you in a little bit later on, you're going to see all of the different exhibitions that are there. And one thing I noticed about this year, it's very much so set up for negotiations. So everybody's there, but there are tables where you actually sit down and you chat to people and you, you kind of come up with a, a lot of business ideas and, and, and whatever it is. I can just see that for me, that was the first sense I got there, that this was set up as a meeting destination. So people are there. They're here to do business and they're here to promote their businesses with regard to tourism in whatever kind of way, from airlines to hotels to different kind of services that are on offer. We've got a host of guests that we're going to be speaking to this morning coming to you from the uh, Elbert and Cozy uh, International Convention Center. And I must say, I'm really, really looking forward to speaking to some of these guests to find out what the plans and the future holds for tourism here in South Africa and on the continent. I mean, if any of you have tried, I know in December, I certainly did try and book to find any form of accommodation. Everything was full, but that was mostly from local tourism. But of course, we're getting to those pre-COVID levels where international tourists are coming here and they're finding that, of course, things are affordable, but air travel that is something that I know that needs to be worked on as well as e-visas. So these are some of the issues we'll be touching on as well as a lot more during our broadcast here this morning. So we're going to wrap it for now. We'll see you in the next hour and we'll take you through the doors of this year's Africa Travel in Daba. We'll see you then. <laughs> 